is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. My name is Stephanie Ramirez. I'm 28 years old. I struggled with weight my whole life. I had the gastric sleeve done. I lost a total of 100 pounds. I'm actually healthier. No more diabetes, no more hypertensive. I would definitely recommend Dr. Nesbaum. Your weight may not be your fault. It could be a metabolic or hormonal problem. To learn more, come in for a free seminar. Go to NussbaumMedicalCenters.com or call 973-998-9833 to schedule a consultation today. At Ivy Rehab, we're here for you after your surgery. We're here when you're in a rush. When you're in pain. When you're aching. When you don't have a prescription. We're here to get to the root cause of your pain instead of just masking your symptoms. We're here. We are here. We're over there too. We're all over. So come to Ivy Rehab first. We'll be here for you. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. No matter how hard I worked, there was just this little bit of area of fat that I just wasn't happy with. My lower back, around my tummy, just places that no amount of exercise or diet were gonna change. Couldn't do it on my own, and the cool sculpting procedure got me what I was looking for. Cool sculpting is a patented cooling technology that targets and kills fat cells with no surgery or downtime. Your clinician will work with you to develop a treatment plan personalized to your specific fat reduction goals. Each treatment lasts as little as 35 minutes. During treatment, your cool sculpting clinician will first attach the applicator. This non-invasive procedure freezes the fat away without harming the skin. After treatment, you can immediately return to your normal daily activities. The results from cool sculpting are undeniable, but now Dr. Nussbaum and his team are taking it a step further by offering custom medical weight loss with cool sculpting. The MyCool Diet program is the first of its kind. By pairing doctor supervised weight loss with cool sculpting technology, patients will lose the weight fast and keep it off even longer. Now's the time to see a slimmer you. Take the first step and get your cool sculpting consultation today. 
So it's been four years since I got the Neograft hair transplant procedure done, and I look and feel good when I look in the mirror. Guys, I know there's a lot of cures out there for hair loss, but the best solution is to ask your doctor about the Neograft hair transplant. There's no linear scar, little to no downtime, and it's your own hair going back on your head, and that is amazing. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Nussbaum. If you're struggling with thinning hair or hair loss, we can help you. Visit us at MyFullHair.com. That's MyFullHair.com. They were really great about catering to me and specializing in diet that was fit for my body and my needs. When you come see Dr. Nesbaum, you have his whole team here to help you. Whether it be cool sculpting, the balloon, the surgery, no matter what it is, they won't stop helping you until you reach your goals. It was the best decision I've ever made. I lost almost 80 pounds. I'm just a happier overall person. The Nussbaum Weight Loss Center is actually designed to help patients whether they have five pounds to lose or 500 pounds to lose. They're very helpful with um, explaining everything. You feel very comfortable. They walk you through everything. I am now the person I always knew I was inside. I lost about 100 pounds. Altogether, I've lost 80 pounds. I lost about 100 pounds. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nussbaum, for giving me my life back. I'm Dr. Michael Nussbaum. If you're struggling to lose weight, call us at the Nussbaum Weight Loss Centers. Sports medicine is the care of athletes, college athletes, professional athletes, amateur athletes, and we see a lot of weekend warriors. At the Sports Medicine Center, we're up to date on all the latest techniques, both surgical and non-surgical treatment options for treating all sorts of injuries. It's important to make the diagnosis, make it quickly, and start the ball rolling with the treatment. If you can get an MRI done the same day of your injury, a lot of times that's gonna help get that treatment started in the right direction instead of waiting two, three weeks. I think reassurance, making the diagnosis and coming up with a good plan for that particular athlete is a very good thing. It helps to get the folks back on track and limits how discouraged they can actually be from the injury. Patient education is important. We want the patient to be part of the treatment plan and having the patient have an understanding of what their injury is, what their treatment options are, it helps them to get back to the sport that they love. We have doctors with all different uh, specialties within sports medicine, state-of-the-art concussion care, regenerative medicine, and then of course we have our orthopedic surgeons. If something needs to be fixed, uh, we can fix it, more than likely in a minimally invasive uh, fashion. With the arthroscopic and minimally invasive procedures, we're able to do much of this surgery inside the joint without having to damage any of the surrounding tissue. It allows an athlete to return to sports much quicker. We're seeing an excellent result with regenerative medicine. Ligament injuries that would normally have taken six to eight weeks, now we're seeing two to three week recovery periods. It gives me great pleasure to be able to treat an athlete and see them succeed back on the field. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Connection is here. 
in areas all over Sussex County, Planet Network's fiber is now a reality. In Sparta, Newton, Hampton, Lafayette, Andover, Byram, and Franklin, we've begun installing high-speed fiber in these towns, and it's changing everything. Much faster, more reliable, and less expensive than your current plan. Don't settle for slow. Planet Network's fiber is up to 300 times faster than your cable company and up to 500 times faster than your phone company for less money. If you see one of these flyers on your door, your home is ready to be connected. If you want Planet Networks to build in your neighborhood, visit GetPlanetFiber.com and let us know. We'll build where the demand is greatest. It's a new day in Sussex County, and the internet will never be the same. Get connected at GetPlanetFiber.com. That's GetPlanetFiber.com. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Deloja Cohen LLC is a law firm located in Chester, New Jersey. Although we are local, we provide legal services to businesses, entrepreneurs, governmental entities, and school boards statewide. We provide big firm quality work, but do so with a small firm feel and flexible pricing structure. Our specialties include employment law, labor relations, and commercial litigation. At Ploja Cohen, we are proud to support the local athletes in our community. Rich Latman, realtor with Keeneland Latman Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. There are many...
And we welcome you back here on Mars Sussex Sports. We got some rain out of the way. And now back to some track events in just a moment. So just to catch you up, uh, they uh, the 3,200 unseated events are now done. So they did not complete that last one. They're just saying, forget it, guys. Uh, they had to get everybody in for safety. We're all in the in the press box here. And so now it's uh, right to the 200 meters. And this is straight to the finals. It'll be finals on time. So prelims pretty much out the window. My only hope is that they change everything. They're trying to seed it right now. So that should show up on there. That's what they're trying to do anyway. They do it successfully is, is is the only thing. Right. And so we welcome you back here to Booton High School. Brent Luthner, Sean Brother, Corey Delmato on the camera as we will get set to go. Want to once again thank our sponsors as you're seeing them across and. We'll have a chance to give you some read on that. Harding Hawks Field Hockey Club begin offering evening outdoor clinics again starting in late August for players in grades 5 through 8. And additional clinic opportunities will be offered throughout the year for players in grades 2 through 8. Beginning in their 20th year of providing an environment for players to enhance their individual and team skills. Following the footsteps of many All-American and All-State players who got their start as players with the Hawks. Contact John Keating. Bennett Kia, B E N N E T T K E A at AOL.com or call them at 908 730 7108. Also, we're brought to you by Lexus, an automotive company that takes inspired design, relentless innovation, and uninhibited performance and turns them into passionate moving experiences. Visit a dealer near you and test drive a Lexus today. Lexus, experience amazing. 1776 Top Golf Suite, a Chef David Burke restaurant featuring Top Golf Swing Suite. Come sip, snack, and swing with us this summer of 2021. Located on the green of Marstown, 1776Marstown.com to get on their mailing list. Also, George J. Keller and Sons, established in 1980. George A. Keller and Sons LLC is Northern New Jersey's premier home improvements contractor, specializing in roofs, siding, windows, and solar. We've been installing roofs and instilling trust since 1980. Let us show you how we can use our years of experience to your benefit in your next project. Contact them online, gjkeller.com. And finally brought to you by First and Gold Sports. As they are underway here in this 200, we've kind of lost track. We didn't even realize they were going to start. Hey, they didn't say ready on your marks. You could have hey. heard them out there. <laughs> also trying to see, like, what the uh, seatings are and everything. Is This looks like it'll be lane one coming across first. I'll have to wait and see on that one. Finally, first and goal sports mission is to attract eager athletes who want to become better through specialized football speed, conditioning, or strength training. We will do this through first class teaching at a state of the art facility at an affordable price. Register for their youth football academy in Apaca on June 19th, or their youth football mini camps in Sparta from June 24th to 25th, and their summer youth football camp in Randolph from July 19th to 22nd. Visit them online for more information. First and goal sports camps.com. The aforementioned buzz that was around yesterday is back again today. And yeah, we figured out why. It's just a, this board does not like it when it's on for any more than the normal time that it usually is, which is about three hours. If that, two and a half. I think I just need to take a air can to it or something. That's what it is. Famous last words. I'm still trying to, as everybody's in the, the marks for the next one, do not have any lane assignments. So unfortunately, they've not updated it on the live scoring. So yeah, so in other words, we're, we're, we're flying, flying blind. blind. We're flying blind. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. We apologize for all of that. Pumping around, and this is uh, lane number eight run here. 
Looks like that's going to take first down in this heat. And we go on. That we do. I'm sure they're trying to put something up on there because they have to. Yes. So I just hope that they don't need to be, they're not like, uh, hey guys, help, <laughs> stop. We're not ready for this yet. It's the only thing you worry about, especially when you're trying to get everything in. Exactly. That's the problem that you run into is you got one, you got a group of people trying to get everything in and then there's, you know, mm. you're just trying to get everything right. If it's on time, if, I, I think I would, we know who it, the last ones will be. Yeah, I, I know we all know the final heats. Oh, the final one. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, it's just, oh, God. Because they st initially it was going to be prelims and then into the final, but because of that weather problem, <laughs> we had to just go straight to the, the finals on time. Meantime, there's a Morris Catholic runner that will pull away in this one and get the first place spot there. still awaits. Glad you can come back to join us here on Mari Sussex Sports. At about anywhere from a 70 to 90 minute delay. It didn't exactly keep the, the track of the time. But uh, we were out for a little while because of a thunderstorm that rolled through. And they're trying to get all this. And the reason why they've gone straight to uh, 200 meter finals on time is because there's another storm coming in. And that one's not going to roll out for a little while. So they're trying to get everything in, preferably before 9 o'clock. Our good old buddy Mark McNaughton, who I did bring a beverage down to, because I had gotten a, a couple extra things. Uh, he had said that they're, they're thinking another 35 minutes of racing. Uh, it's including what's going on right now. Are they actually thinking about doing the 32? Or are they going to do them together? No, they're gonna, well, no, they're going to do them separate, I think. That's going to take about, ten, that's taking 20 minutes right out of there. Yeah, that's going to take 10, that, that, those two races by themselves will probably take anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes uh, right. for both of them together. Give or take seconds that you have to do to get ready for each of them. So if you're thinking 35, that's, uh, I, I hate to break it to you. Lane four has got this race. The clock is not even on down there, if that tells you anything, so. Yeah, that's the, that's, that's the whole, that's the one thing that I'm concerned about, too. It is being recorded, we know that. Just uh, how it's being done is the question. Because nothing is being entered right now. There are, there are, we do know there are 12 heats. Just we're, everything's being kind of pushed around a bit. Yeah, but there, yeah, but all the heats are now. Final on time. Yeah, they're all on time now. So it's the quicker seeds. Progressively, the seeds are, times are faster as the, uh, Heats go I figure on. all the lane fours from heat seats uh, from heats five through eight are going to be in the final. Results for the boys: pole vault in sixth place. They come around Marco, here. Marco, 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 this is a nice Marco, lane five Marco, run. In fifth place, Kevin Heister, Brendan the Liberty Marco, Park Marco, battle Marco, here for Marco, one and Marco, two. Teammates place. down the stretch, Good and place. that's gonna ooh, that's gonna be tight in the end there too. And four's got in third place, Morris Knowles, John Robinson, eleven feet. In second place, Daniel. Bologaski. That's hard to try to push, Bologaski. but knowing that the traction is not the way that you would like it to be, right? So it's like you want to push more, but at the same time you also have to. Uh, you know what? Too, we got to keep in mind that um. Some of the, as the, these heats go on and you get to those faster times, 
some of them are going to have the spikes and i don't think that traction you know when they dig into this track it, it should be fine Result the girls this one coming around this is Sixth looking place, like a Precipity Hills High School. Taylor Vitelli, Good race coming races. down here. In fifth place. Looks like Mars Knowles in lane number six trying to hold on. In fourth place. And they'll do so. 100 feet, one inch. That might have been Camille Farrell in that one. Place, High School. Melissa Amiel, I don't know. 104 feet, 3 inches. In second place, Danielle Merby, Roxbury. High yeah, it is, because she's, there's only one Morristown beard place, in this entire thing. Oh, my God. So it has to be Camille Farrell. 7 inches, Josie Stribble. Congratulations. Girls, 200 meters to the start. She was going to run with. She was going to run with start. Sophia Redmond, which that didn't happen. But I'm almost certain that that was Camille Farrell. Again, we don't have we don't have the seedings for the for the uh, sections because they've just gone straight to final on time. And based on all the weather uh, based on the weather delay, now they're trying to hurry things along. And now. Yep. They're kind of left in the dark on it, but we at least know who's going to probably end up being in the final one. Results for the girls high jump. In sixth place, Randolph High School, Sarah Bona, four feet, ten inches. Coming around down the stretch here. Might be my lead that's getting the encouragement. There's a good race going on that though. High School, Ariella Chagna, five feet. I mean, five will take in it. In third place, Liberty Park High School, Savannah Aracadio, five feet, two inches. In second place, Kellogg High School, Carolyn T, five feet, two inches. And in first place, Chatham High School with a jump of five feet, three inches, Elisa's four. Congratulations. Next racers up. Again, we're expecting the final heat to have Phoebe Patterson, uh, Bayless Simon, Sophia Redman, Olivia Mancuso, Tommy Weber. Kendall Palazzi, Jordan Robinson, Sophia Lally. That's what we think is going to be in the final. We have no idea, though, of when that might come up. Come down the stretch here. This is lane two. Going to take that one down. That chat that was Chatham, right? No, I think that wasn't Chatham. Right? No, that was Randolph. Was Randolph. Mm. Could have been Mancuso. It was either Mancuso or Finley. I think those are the only two that are in from Randolph. Yeah, man, it's either Man. It was either Man. I was either Mancuso or Finley. So and I, my money was on that was that was Finley actually I think that was Finley. Who's Off and running in the 200 in here. In sixth place, Morris Falls High School, Raymond Lara, 43 feet eight inches. In fifth place, Kennedy Park High School. Daniel coming Lara, around, this one's a good finish coming up here. In fourth place. Chatham, will that be all? Oh, no, that's going to be lane number six, maybe. Marstown. Close one at the end, that. It was a Marstown run in lane six, I believe. In second place, Mount All High School, Nicholas Fertina, 50 feet, three inches. 
and in first place from Parsippany Hills High School with a. Is that Bayless Simon that got no. that one? Eight no, that wasn't Bayless. Tyler Burke. Congratulations. That might have been. Well, the only other Morristown runner I have here is Emma Sweeney. Oh, no, there's Jordan. Rob might have been Jordan Robinson. Oh. There's only three of them. Robinson, Sweeney, and uh, Simon. Simon. That was not, and that was not Bayless Simon. She usually has her hair up, I think. I think that's usually when she runs. Really jumping around out there. We're definitely starting to get to the faster and faster times, though. Can't tell if there's the guys are ready to go next or if the girls have got another heat to go after this. There's got it. That's got to be the girls still. I don't see why it would be. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Not be the last one. Off they go. Yeah, it's the guys. Yep. So that was the final of the girls. Now the guys are off and running. I don't think Sophia Redmond was running in that at all. Mm. She might have just, they might have just said the, the heck with it. It's too much time in between from the weather. It just Very possible. pulled it out. Guys going in 200 now, head to head race here. And again, we're flying blind on this one. Yep. I'm going to imagine they're recording time somewhere, just we don't see them on the live <laughs> scoring. Could you imagine that all this oh time they are not God. doing it? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and Sean, I think Sean's right, though. I think a bunch of schools have just left and said, hey, you know what, we're calling it a day. But Mount Olive, there's Mount Olive runners here. Yes. I just don't think Sophia Redman ran because she, I, she was not out there. I think her. Saving. I think her. I think her sister ran in a in a previous heat. I think I did see her. Saving for the four by four. Uh, Second race is off and running. Six runners in this one. We I mean, got a mountain olive runner here. So lane one is open, and here's a Whippany Park run down the middle here in lane number five. Uh, is. Gonna look out. Might get a little competition at the end there. That's uh, Chatham on the outside in six, but. Good finish. Good finish that. Yep. Ran through. Good job. So as results become finalized, we will try to share them with you. I, pro I, I can almost promise you we're not getting anything. We're not getting anything for the rest of this besides the four by fours. The four by fours and maybe the 32s will have something. Mm. This, these, both of these girls and girls and boys 200s, I doubt we're going to see anything on mile split at all because they, I think they have to enter everything manually because they're probably hand timing everything. Because they, they don't have the clock up there. Well, they don't have the clock up, but they do have the camera up. Yes, they do. Well, they've been trying to put the cam they were trying to put the clock up. Yeah, I think they're just going to not bother with the clock. But I, I would imagine that the camera is going to get stuff done. The automated system has to get, they have to do, put something else in there because it's all, mm -hmm. all the seed, seeding times are all bump, jumbled up. Mumbo jumbo. Boys 200 meters presently going on. Results for the girls 200 meter dash. Got him. In sixth place from Morristown High School, Tommy Weber. I'm going to have to write them down as they go here. Oh, the reading stopped. No prelims. That wasn't pre. Yeah, there's no prelims with that. There's definitely some that did not run for sure. Again, sixth place, Tommy. 
No sex place has been announced. It's not on here. Nope. I'm looking as well. Eh. Mother Nature, why you torment me so? It's not their fault. No. <laughs> Next heat about to go. Again, results for the girls, Jordan, so, your dad. We'll try and third. Morristown High School, Tony Weber, 26-81. In fifth place, Morristown High School, Bayless Simon, 26-70. In fourth place, Nile High School, Sophia Redmond, 26-52. In third place, Chatham High School, Sophia Lally, 26-39. In second place, Mountain Lakes High School, Kendall Palazzi, 26-11. Mm. And in first place for Morristown High School with a time of 26-08, Jordan. Jordan Robinson. Congratulations. 26.08 was that final time for Robinson. So that will be manually entered as we continue through here. Well, I got that written down anyway. Right. Good thing we can pick it up. <coughs> yeah, that's good. That's Next good. heat, boys, too. Turn to go on. That is lane number seven. Uh, no, it's lane six. Oof, that's a good run. Unofficially, we'll say 23 and change. 24, maybe. I got 23 and change. I believe so. Josh Bed Bodnar was around that time. Sebastian Denizard was around that time. Still some more runners to go. It had a whole bunch of them just gathered around there. Blumenthal around that time. I feel like that was Blumenthal, actually. Mm. I can't, again, there's no way to con be concrete about it, but. That's the one problem with track that you don't have in like regular team sports where everybody's got uniform numbers and everything right. of that nature. You right. don't need to worry about it. Lots have been scored. Yeah. Boys, every field events, everything but the long jump has been scored. Yeah, and they're trying to they're trying to do that now, I think. Yeah. Girls, uh, triple jump, not yet. They're doing that now. Yeah. Discus, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Everything else has been scored. <laughs> they're going to have to probably, uh, the discus are probably going to have to end. I mean, I'm, uh, Amel did, did throw, so there's that. Another. There's a good one down the stretch here, Randolph and Roxbury. It's going to be Randolph by a stride or two. Emil through, Marie Bay through, Josie Struble through. That was a nice one. But there's been a lot that have yet to have been recorded. There's a lot that haven't been recorded. But right now, Josie Struble, the leader in the clubhouse at 110 110.7. Hey, let's give credit on that. Samantha Gordon of Pequannock High School sets a personal record at 100 feet, one inches. So if she cracks 100 for the first time in her career. That's nice. Out of way, Samantha Gordon of Pequannock. Nicely done. Well done.
Oh. Is that Juan Cortez? Oy. No, no, it's not. That's a whippany. That's right. a whippany part. Wait till, wait till that happens. Look okay, out. It's a good race here between three and one. High stepping down the stretch a little bit, maybe. <laughs> oh, high stepping. Replay that. I'll try to get it. Replay I hope that. I got that. I hope you did too. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. He high stepping? Oh, wait. Hold on. Hang on. Hey. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wrong replay. It just it went through. Ah. Oh. Nope. So the answer is no. That's a dang it. I thought I had it. So actually, you know what? We we'll reset the clock, by the way. Do we have <laughs> hey, a little bit of high step down there? <laughs> Styling a profile. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Let's have a little fun with that. It looked like a little high step there. My, it might have been his regular running motion anyway, but that looked that like. That might actually be something, actually, a fairly decent way to go about it on a wet track, actually picking your feet up. Yeah. But it looked like he had a little Dion in him. <laughs> a little prime time. Look good, play good. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we got a Hills Runner on the on the inside, I think. It's either a Hills Runner or, or a Morristown. Got a lot of runners coming around, and this is going to be a good one down the stretch. Oh, it's Morristown. Knowles, and is that Montville? Yep. Look out there. Montville trying to pull ahead here in lane number seven. Uh, six, I mean. And oh, get oh, the yeah. win net. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, six got so while these are going on, we can read off some results that we've gotten. Girls, uh, was it the girls or the boys pole vault today? Boys. Ben's won that, but. Gabriel Ben's 13 beats. He, he always does this. Every time. Without Daniel, fail. Daniel Goligarski, 11, as well as John Robinson. Luke Brzezowski, Brendan Arias, Robert George fill out the top six that. Uh, girls high jump today? Yes. Give that to Elsa Spore at 5-3. Edging out, Carolyn Ty at 5-2 that got second. Savannah Marcantonio, 5-2, but fewer, fewer more attempts for her, so third. Aurelia Shanga, Michaela Rothenbuehler. Sarah Bona finish out. Bona edges out. Alicia Mar Megan Bradley for the points. I expect to start seeing some recognizable faces here soon. Oh, there's somebody from Knowles charging down lane two. Is that Pope or Kemp? Oh, look out, lane three. Nice. Whee! Oh, we've gotten to that point, have we? <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing the wheeze yeah, now? Yeah, we point? are. Good God. Oh, dang it. Oh, look at that finish, though. That, that, that qualifies as a week. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think that was... Uh, I think the runner-up of the hurdles, I think, for the boys. Boys Javelin was today? I think that was Dupree Kemp right there that was oh, just yeah? running. Pretty sure that was Cameron Dupree Kemp. Uh, boys Javelin today? Yes. Dylan Huang of Montville, 174.4, gets the honors. Jason Moore, second of Randolph at a 179. 170 feet, nine inches, that is. Thomas Tarabakia of Kinalana, 145.2. 144.10 for Cassian Davis. Got fourth, Amar Ramadan with a 143.4. Got fifth, and Casey O'Reilly, a personal best, 140 flat. Got the final spot there for Chatham. Not many more heats. <laughs> that 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 crowd has dwindled down there. Yeah, but I already see the last heat, and I can tell. Th I could. I already know at least two or three guys in that one. If you don't see Redmond, you don't see Babe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Who else was today? Uh. In the field events. Who threw shot put. The, shot put. Boys? Yeah. Yep. No, that's the girls. Nah. Hey, 
this looks like it's going to be a Chatham win. Yeah. Take it down, my friend. Boy shot put scored. Tyler Girth, the honors, 50 feet, eight and a quarter inches. Great. Nicholas Fratina got second, 53, uh, 50 feet, three inches. A 49.9 out of <clears throat> Ikechukwu Nieto of Del Barton, 49.9 for him. Robert Lichtuswang of 49.4 got fourth. Daniel Gregory of Hanover Park of 45.10 and a quarter. Raymond Lara of Morris Knowles, 43.8, got the last spot that uh, for the points. Just edging out Kevin Page and Thomas White, who had a 43.7 each. That got taken down there. What are the field events today? You got the draft? For the boys, I think I read them already. I think that was it. All right. Again, you're seeing all the stuff down at the bottom in there. Got a Hills runner on the far side. I think that's a Hills. Looks like Hills. Also got a Bergen. Or got a, oh, that's Bergen. That is Bergen. Look out. That's got to be Bergen. Goodbye. Bergen down the middle. And off to the races we go. Oh, brother. 22-6. About 22-6. So fast. Unreal. Christmas. Oh, plays football. Looks like he's not looks like he's not built just to leave for track. That's the case he beat his seed time. Oh by the way. I mean I'd be hard but pressed to see if a guy that was out that far ahead it wasn't Aiden Bergen. Besides, we also heard people uh, chanting Aiden you, out there. Well, yeah, you know what, though? It's, it's within that. And he's got a teammate going, Matthew Sales, soon. Get ready. If he didn't run already. I don't think he has. Mm. Interesting. Why would he not have run already? Because he had a faster seed time. He's going to be one of the last groups. Hmm. So Aiden Bergen confirmed me. <laughs> 100 meters? You got it. 200? Uh, yeah. I'll Somebody be okay. runs it faster than him. There, there may be some faster. Angela Iglevsky is also um, still to... Uh, no, that shouldn't be the case. I think he might have run. Him and Aiden Bergen had the same heat, uh, seed times. Iglevsky might be running in this one. Not sure. Off they go. Uh-oh. Who's that in lane four? Oh, we got that. Uh, oh, we got it's a hills runner, but we got we got our sprint out going on in lane six there. That's a Roxbury runner sitting there in six. Yeah, there was a couple Which, hills runners actually. Uh, might be. Well, this is the last heat. Well, I know who's in this one. This is the last heat. Roland. Lardy's in this one. Brian. Babe. Demore. Demore. Sales. Cortez. Mon Cortez, yep. Barry. Thulin. Roland. Babe. We said Babe. <laughs> we, we said Babe. We can say it twice. It's fine. Yeah. Joshua Babe. Yeah, Gabriel Maya's in this one. Maya, yeah. Yeah. But why? Among those, among those names. Just a little, I don't know how the traction's going to be on this, but watch just Josh Babe is just, I don't think I've ever seen a track runner just be so dominant on the around the corner. For those wondering, Josh Babe is in probably in lane four. Gabriel Maya is probably in lane five. Babe had a 21.69 seed time. <laughs> Off we go. Last of these. He's on, yeah, he's lane four. He's in lane four. In You'll the wet, see. In the wet conditions, will he set something? There goes Babe. <laughs> Joshua Babe off to the races. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good night. We will have to wait for the official yeah. final time. Did he break the meet record? What was the meet record? The meet record was set in 2017. Matthias Pellegrino of Morris Knowles, a 21.74. Yeah, you got it. I, I, timed might, it. I had him at 21.67. 
Let's see what the official yeah, well, numbers will be. I had 21.67. I, I watch it on my screen. He was at least 21.6 something. The clock all is now back. Finalists to the long jump. All boys finalists to the long jump, including those who are in the 200. <laughs> 3200 time. Yeah. It is 3,200 time. What do you got? Girls first? Yeah, the one girl's seat. One girl, the one girl's run. So let's give you, we do know this. Hey, how about that? Uh, here's how they're going to break down. It is uh, Madison Orleans of Mendham number one, Ava Augustine of Mendham number two, Maya Wilkins of Randolph number three, Sarah Hannafin, the one to look out for her as well. Yeah. Uh, number four from Villa Walsh, Lindsay Bresnahan, Chatham number five. The, the, uh, the arch rival, <clears throat> yes. if you will. <laughs> Megan Smith, Mendham, number six. Jamie Habib, Madison, number seven. Jessica Diamond, Whippany Park, number eight. Aliyah Delgado, Morris Hills, number nine. Another Morris Hills runner, Tori Champagne, number 10. Eleanor Cerny, Morristown, number 11. Rebecca Gutsoff of Kinelon, number 12. Uh, Gutsoff, I should say. Uh, Sophia Denzo, Madison, number 13. Emma Leary, number 14 from Randolph. And Emma Barcelona, Mendham, number 15. A, uh, Madison Orleans seat time is 11.16.75, which is miles ahead of Ava Augustine at 11.25.29, or Maya Wilkins, or Sarah Hannafin, who birth turned in 11.37s. Off and running we go. Those first five are in that lead group, so we'll see how this all pans out. Right now, it's that trailing pack in this California start that's gotten things off a bit. As they're going down that back stretch the first time. Hearing that microphone going, so we're kind of also trying trying to keep that going on. Down this stretch the first time. Uh, it looks like Sarah Hannafin's trying to put herself out in the lead. Very tight amongst the pack early on. But of course, this is, uh, they got the clock going now, which is helpful. Meet record Abby Lovies of Randolph is also the county record. 10 10 24 set two years ago. May 14th, 2019. Will somebody eclipse that? <laughs> Highly unlikely, but. We have had one record tied. We're awaiting on official word of another. And whether or not that got taken down. Boys, 3,200 meters. If you have not reported, please go towards the timing truck. Boys, 3,200 meters. Still, of course, they're not scoring anything, so we just got to wait and see. We do know who won that boys 200 meters. There's no doubt it was Joshua Bate, as you saw him take off. Now the only question is, is did he do it? Of course, the record that was tied earlier, Dominic Wallace, of Morris Hills, a 153-34 tied the meet record set by Jason Apple of Roxbury 14 years ago. On the back here they go once more and it's the 
3,200 seeded finals, 3,200 finals, if you will, for the girls. Boys will follow this up. And around the back they go. And they're trying to get all this in before the next band of storms comes arriving. That's the one that might put things a little too late. That's Villa Walsh's Sarah Hannafin leading the, the group there. Four fifteen Markish, uh, four sixteen Markish says they go into the darkness, if you will, behind that end zone. Tell you what, there's we've had the. Uh, We've, we've had the, uh, the, uh, the honor, I guess, Sean, of being in a lot of good uh, venues here in high school sports in New Jersey. Absolutely, man. It's, this is one of the better ones. I really really like the, uh, the scenery around there and uh, hope to be coming It'll back here the during the, the fall time for some things, maybe. Yeah, once you and I get done with Sussex County Miners' obligations, which, quite honestly, you and I both hope it's sometime in late September. Yeah, mid to late. Uh, I prefer late because that means a championship potential. Right. Although we could do week. Uh, no, we can't. Fourth place, not all of high school. Gabriel Amaya, 22.96. Third place, not all of high school. Anthony Fuel, 22.87. In second place, Madison High School, Aiden Bergen, 22.68. And in first place, Morris Hills High School with a time of 21.96. Joshua Babe. 21.96 for Joshua Babe. Misses out by 22 hundredths of a second, but still, that's a fast time. What did he run? 21.96. They must really be up on the gun with that. I'm more of a hand timed, obviously, but. Yeah. Hand time, he got the record, but unfortunately, that's not the that's not the way it goes here. On the back stretch, they go again, and looks like Sarah Hannafin stretching out her lead a little bit. The commit to Boston University, and he's turned in some good times thus far. Although we haven't really seen her much, she's usually stalking in, in, in her races as Hannafin. Yeah. She usually stalks and waits and waits and waits, and then come that last lap, she just kicks it into another gear. Right now, she's in the lead, and she's got a decent one over that. Hearing some encouragement in the background. There's 7.04, time to go across for Hannafin. Orleans and Augustine are just hanging right there. They're, just, they're off the pace a little bit, but it's almost like, you know, they're trying to, to keep the pace to reel in Hannafin. Right. See going down the back stretch yet again. Coming around and one of these racers is trying to pull her back in. Yep, might want to get across the track there soon, guy. Hannafin in first. Trying to see what number that is in second. Let's 
Sarah Hannafin still with the lead, couldn't quite see. And again, my glasses are a little bit on the foggy side, the, the smeared side from the rain earlier. Two more laps to go in this one. Hannafin in the lead. It's a decent size lead at that. It is tough when they get into the darker places of the track to, keep, uh, to be able to keep track with them. But there's Hannafin by the goalpost now, coming on out. Give Corey a lot of credit on the camera here. He's doing a good job picking them up when they come out of that darkness, especially in the press box here. Yeah. Different angle. Sarah Hannafin about to hit that bell lap. Still can't see who's in second, but we know Madison's got three and four in New Orleans and New Orleans and Augustine. Let's see what Hannafin's got as a close. Sarah Hannafin still in the lead, and she's starting to lengthen it here. Sarah Hannafin going down the back stretch, and it's about a 20 meter lead right now. Will she be hauled in is the only question. Orleans and Augustine won't catch her. Or Megan Smith from Mendham. I think that's Jessica Diamond of Whippany Park in second, I believe. Around the corner, down the stretch. Here comes Sarah Hannafin, continuing to pick up the pace. Sarah Hannafin, one last kick down here at the end, but Sarah Hannafin of Villa Walsh will take this one home. There you go. In a time of 11:13. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 11, 17 and change for second, but yeah. Sarah Hannafin just did uh, enough's enough, and you saw the finish there. That's a extremely, that's an extremely well done, well done job there by Hannafin. Just in her pace, just top of the, just top of the line in that elite class. As everybody else is coming across the line and it's just, again, Sarah Hannafin just, and you saw there why she's heading off to Boston University yeah. uh, to be part of that track and field program up there. Uh, I mean, uh, again, at, at this level here in New Jersey, just putting on really that master class right there. Final couple of runners come on through. You know, we saw Madison Orleans have a seed time of 11.16. Ava Augustine, 11.25. But, I mean, Sarah Hannafin just busted that out of the water. Final runners come through. Sarah Hannafin will go down. I mean, she's... Villa Walsh Academy is going to... That's going to be a tough, a tall task to fill those shoes there at Villa Walsh. They're at any school, really. But Sarah Hannafin of Villa Walsh, 11 13 and change getting the win. We'll get the That's redemption for her today. Yeah. I mean, she, she ran some of the shorter distances and, and didn't quite get those spots, but boy, oh boy, did she put on the show here today. Boys' turn. Well, names to watch. 
Schultz, Ackerman, Chen. Usual suspect. Colin Bowler. Bowler. Usual suspect. Don't see Ackerman in here. He ran earlier. He, he ran, I think he ran earlier. First time. You know, Brian Bowler, Colin Bowler. You know, those are some of the names uh, to keep a look at. Do not have the, somehow lost the, uh, the, uh, the number of assignments, so. Braden Carroll of Kinelon. Is that the only Kinelon runner in here that hasn't run yet? 32. Yeah, as far as I could see, Braden Carroll of Kinelon brought it to the line first. What was Babe's time again? 21.95, I believe. Yeah. Stretch they go. With the clock on, they may. Of course, after this is the four by 400. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. Get a tight pack here as they go through second time by. Second of eight laps around the course. Results for the girls, 3,200 meters. In sixth place, Morris Hills High School. Elliot Delgado, 11 minutes, 42 seconds, 0.07. In fifth place, Randolph High School, Maya Wilkins. 11.36, 73. In fourth place, Mendham High School, Madison Orleans. 11.32.87. Orleans gets fourth. In third place, Mendham High School. Megan Smith. 11, Megan Smith 20, gets third. 43. In that 32. In second place, Liberty Park High School, Jessica Diamond. 11.17.52. And in first place from Villa Walsh Academy with a time of 11 minutes, 13 seconds, 13.13 seconds. Sarah Kavanagh. 11 13 was that? Yeah, 11 13 I like that. Give full credit. Jessica Diamond got second, the freshman from Whippany Park. Oh, she's going to be doing she Ooh. she she's going to she's going to be winning winning some uh she's going to be getting points for her school for a few years oh, to come. Think? <laughs> I mean, I'm Mr. I'm barring, Captain, obviously. Barring a family, barring the family moving somewhere else, uh, <laughs> yeah, that might be. Uh, she might be putting up some numbers at Whippany Park because, oh boy, she gets second behind Sarah Hannafin in this meet. Boys, four by four hundred relay. Boys, four by four hundred relay. Please report to the tables of midfield. Boys, four by four hundred relay. 
Uh, there's at least one familiar face in first place. Uh, yeah. That's Brandon Chen, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's Brandon Chen first. Brandon Chen in the lead. He's the junior from Westmore Central. Gotta wonder, maybe there was something that was bugging Ackerman. Or either that, or he just did the 800. Which I think is more mainly his event, actually. Yeah. Now that I, look, now that I think about it, or watch it enough. Right. So. Trying to see if they'll actually up, if, if they'll actually, now that they got the clock going on, if they're going to try to update mile split, but not the case. We'll just continue to have to listen in. Wishful thinking, eh? Man can hope, can he? Of course. Not against that at all. As we go on by yet again, boys, 3,200 meters. We want to again thank our sponsors, Harding Hawks Field Hockey Club, 1776 Top Golf Swing Suite, Morristown, George J. Keller and Sons. Roofing, siding, windows, solar, GJ Keller, uh, gjkeller.com, yes. First and goal, sports football training. And Lexus, experience amazing. Sean's already packing up some of the stuff that will yeah. not be used. Yeah, well, you know, hey. If you want to try to beat I, the rain, right? Yeah, well, that's the whole point. Yeah, I mean, we had visions of getting something some other things done but then yeah, yeah. well we weren't gonna, well we had, I thought we weren't going to be doing any of that here mm -hmm. I don't know what's open around here but we'll see oh yeah <laughs> that was the plan originally don't yes, you remember yes <laughs> well we, we're not exactly in in the proverbial uh, we're, we're not in farming country so there might be some places open yes compared Turn back to fourth here, but this may be by design. Yep. Just take a couple. Madison got the lead in this. As they're going around again. Might be... Uh, Madison, Adam Angelone, the lone one out mm -hmm. there for Madison. He's yeah, the Angelone was a runner we've seen in the distance And he's before. stretching it out a little bit here. How many laps has he got left? Uh, Looks like maybe it's... Well, for these guys, I think he was putting either two or three. Mm. You know, it really honestly does not matter because at least we'll know when there's one. Yes. Angelone again in first. Let's go now, Adam. Let's go, Adam. And you hear the encouragement from his teammates. Well, now we're seeing on the radar, there's another severe batch of storms, but it looks like it's going to pass just south of us. Which, sight for sore eyes. Bell lap here for Angelone. On the back stretch, Adam Angelone still in the lead. Can he finish it off or will he be hauled in? Final 200. And Angelone in the lead. And he's starting to stray. He's got his arms up. Angelone put the arms up in victory almost. Nope, not there, it's to the left. Here comes Angelone down the stretch. He had put his arms up and now here he comes. Adam Angelone is gonna finish this one off. He was feeling confident all the way through. 26 at the end of it. Yeah, I think he just felt really good about that. Yep. Here comes the rest of the gang. A lot of encouragement from 
everybody else, but Adam Angelone takes the points from Madison. There's the last kick there from Shan. Look at it go. Whoa, blur. <laughs> <laughs> See, that, 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 that's where it qualifies, Sean. Uh, it counts. Mm -hmm. a spot there, a spot here is... Uh, last kick's going on here as well. I don't know. I would never have anything left at no. this point for me. I, I'd be done. I'd have been done after... I would have been done after about a lap, to be honest with you. Right. Well, we got one event to go. We will know the teams in this. Yep. Because it is a finals. Section by section. The finish of the boys 3200 now brings us to the marquee event of most of these things, the 4x400 four meter relays. The traditional finisher, if you will. Girls will start, I would assume, yes? Yep, the, the girls will start it. We've got one more runner coming through. They'll pick him up. There he is. Good job. Section number one will get started. They're getting on the track now. Villa Wal These are the lane assignments. Everybody might not be here. <clears throat> but it's Villa Walsh in lane one. Pequannock in lane two. Whippany Park lane three. Morris Catholic lane four. Randolph in lane five. Roxbury in lane six. Kinelon in lane number seven. <clears throat> Each runner will go around once. Official has gotten them ready. And again, thank all of you for tuning in to this rain delayed Morris County Track and Field Championships here on Morris Sussex Sports. Looks like everybody's ready, just waiting for the final start. Fastest seed time in this group, Mars Catholic, thus lane four with a 4-19-18. And off they go. Yep. <clears throat> right now, it looks like lane six in Roxbury wants to get out to proper starts. Four by 400 meter, each leg has its own story, really. Yeah, it does. Come around here, the stagger will be done after this, and then we'll start to see everybody collapse into lane one. But right now, lane four, Morris Catholic has got the lead. And it's a pretty decent sized one at that. Don't get too far away. There you go. Got at the line, too, so that's good. As everybody does the exchange and now gets into the inside and heads on off. Morris Catholic in the lead. Good size lead at that. What are what it's like having to race after a, a delay, no less, ah. for these runners. Well, Mars Catholic is starting to get caught up to here. I think that's Roxbury trying to get involved in the foray. As they go around the turn once more. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people coming around. Look out. Oh, 
Down the stretch, a little bit of a kick. Mars Catholic still in the lead. Oxbury's there, I believe. Well, here comes on the outside. Look out, Whippany Park. Whippany Park's got the second spot now. Handoffs abound. Roxbury in third, Whippany Park second, Morris Catholic still in first. Take it around the turn. And how many sections are there? There are two. Two. Ah. Battles for second in this one right now. Mars Catholic well in the lead. Roxbury is now overtaken Whippany Park for the second spot. Well, Mars Catholic putting in a pretty good time thus far. As we get ready to go to the final lap here. Mars Catholic first. Whippany Park second, Roxbury third. Yeah, that was an overtake by Quanic for fourth. Villa Wall sitting in the, the sixth spot there, and then Kinelon with the last exchange. Final lap here. Ah, oh, they didn't ring the bell. Yeah. Mars Catholic still in the lead here. They've led throughout. Is there a well? They're actually behind the goalpost coming on down the stretch now. That's the battle for second going on that you see there. But right now it is Mars Catholic. You see it in the screen. Well out in front. Great shot, Corey. Well out in front. They'll take this one down. Whippany Park, can they hold on to second over Roxbury? Hard charge at the end by Pequonic as well. And it'll be Whippany Park two, Roxbury three, Pequonic four. Villa Walsh will get the five that's. There's Kinelon. I think there were only six in that one. Did not see Randolph in the proceedings. Final section. And one of the lanes going to use starting blocks there. Assignments, Parsippany Hills lane one, Parsippany lane two, Mars Knowles lane three, or Mendham lane four, Mount Olive lane five, Chatham lane six, Mars Hills lane seven, West Mars Central lane eight. Three starting blocks amongst this group. Off and running. And as you would expect after the early goings that some of those middle lanes getting in there, Chatham. I mean, seed times amongst uh, five of these, uh, these teams are separated by just what? Four and a half seconds. From Mendham, uh, check that, make it five seconds. From Mendham's 404-41 up to Parsippany's 409-98. So we all know that that could be overcome. Right now, Mount Olive in lane five's got the lead. Mendham right with them, and now Mendham going to take the lead. Mendham leading Mount Olive second, third for West Morris Central. Out in lane eight. In fifth place, not all of high school, Alicia Jones, 32 feet, two and a half. Girls high. triple jump being announced right now. In fourth place, Morris Catholic High School, Anna Giannotti, 33 feet, seven and a half. 
championships in third place. Wes Morris, Central High School, Tyra Hoffman, 33 feet, 8 inches. In second place, Randolph High School, Aaron Finley, 34 feet, 2 inches. And in first place, from Hanover Park High School, with a jump of 35 feet, 5 and a half inches, Kamara Johnson. Kamara Johnson, 35, 5 and a half, got the win in the triple. Right now, Mendham in the lead here, Mount Olive second. Good second leg kick right there. Handoffs abound. West Morris Central still in that third spot. As they go around here for lap number three. Look out, though, for some others to sneak up. But right now, Mendham in front. In sixth place, Chatham High School, Alexander Crack. Time of nine minutes, 44.39. In fifth place, fifth place, Mendham High School, Zachary Hodges, 943.02. In fourth go place, Del Barton School, Colin Bowler, 939.92. There we go again. Mendham in the lead. Mendham with a good size lead as they'll come to this final leg. Bell, uh, there's the bell. In second place, Del Barton School, Ryan Bowler, 930.87. And in first place, from Madison High School, with a time of 9 minutes, 26.127, Adam Angelo. 926.12, I believe I heard. Wait, we got a catch up here. Mendham has led this race most of the way, but there is a hard charge coming on here in his final leg. Mount Olive trying to mount the comeback. The proverbial down the, down the stretch they come. Mount Olive, big time charge here. Redman. Will it be enough? Mendham is going to leg by Mount Olive and it just falls short. Wow. Now we get to watch the boys do it. There, there are three sections to this one. Uh, the third one. <laughs> Them and Mount Oliver in the third one. This one, lane one is Madison, lane three is Pequonic, lane four, Kinelon, lane five, Morris Catholic. Although I'm seeing some more teams out there. Hmm. Huh? Uh huh. This might be just a two. There might be other teams. They might just have narrowed it down to two. Because there's somebody in lanes. Uh, lanes one. Lane one is open, but everybody else is in the pool. So that means with seven teams, three others came up from section two, which means maybe one went to section three, and then the others are just not racing. So we will see as they're coming around. Oh, there's two that's not racing. There's a couple that's not racing, yeah. Everybody has to stay in their lanes early on. Good kick here at the end. Is that Kittelon coming down? Or it might be Del Barton. Kittelon or Del Barton, yeah. 
Oh, nice kick on the inside, actually. Chatham's got the lead in this one. Yeah. Chatham in lane number five's got the lead. Roxbury's in six. Morris Knowles in lane seven, so that means is that Mendham there in four. Morris Towns in lane three. And not sure who's in lane one. It might be Del Barton in lane one. So that previous one, the uh, the Madison Pequannock Kinelon Mars Catholic one may have been scrubbed. Who knows? That's very possible. One of them. One of them's racing in this one, and we know that. Around they go. Second time by. Chatham still in the lead. And lengthening. Marstown making a run of this one. Morris Knowles is in this race as well. Trying to see who that is. Running. I'm pretty sure Morris Catholic just got the handoff there yeah. at the end. Right. So I believe we're. we're this is a Franken section here between a couple <laughs> section one and section two teams. Well, it's a Franken section. There, there's some teams that just didn't make it, so they just combined one and two. Might have been Kinelon being one of those teams, I'm not sure. Or Pequannock might have been one of those teams. Chatham's still in the lead. And now here's a Rock charge Barry. there. Roxbury in six trying to get up on Marstown. In comes Mendham as well. But it's Ch Chatham way out in front. And in first place from Mount Olive High School with a jump of 22 feet, two and a quarter inches. 22 Gabriel Maya. Congratulations. Gabriel Maya, 22, two and a quarter. Got the win in the boys' long jump. There might be a little bit of a catch-up going on here, but Chatham's still out in the lead as we get to the final one. 22. Oh, you're not putting this. this, this right. But Chatham out in front. Late charge here by Roxbury. Might not be enough, though. Chatham takes first in this one. Roxbury second. Third will end up going to Mount to, uh, to Mendham and fourth to Morristown. As the rest of the field rounds out. But now, this is the one everybody wants to see to finish out the event here. Six on the dance floor to finish it out. Parsippany, lane two. Seed time, 329.57. Randolph, lane three. Seed time, 325.72. Mars Hills, lane fourth. Seed time, 321.61. Mount Olive, lane five. Seed time, 322.20. Parsippany Hills, lane six, seed time 326.63. West Mars Central, lane seven, seed time 330.29. Meet record. Randolph in 2014, 321.19. Hand time, Del Barton back in 1969, 321.70. County record, 318.07, Mendham in 2014. Hand time back in 87, Mars down the 318.11. Off we go. Results for the girls, four by 400 meter reach. In sixth place, Westmore Central High School with a time of four minutes, 13.65 seconds. In fifth place, Parsippany High School with a time of four minutes, 13.6 seconds. In fourth place, Chatham High School. they go first time here. Four minutes, 10.18 It's as you would expect. In third place, Morris, Morris, High uh, Morris Hills and Mount Olive. 8.02 And Morris Hills shooting ahead here down these last hundred. That's Wallace. He's going to hand it off to Grayson. Hand off there. With a time of four minutes. 
And then we know who the last two guys are. Cortez will be the third, or no. Babe will be the third, Cortez will be the fourth. Mendham gets first, of course. Didn't hear the time. But Mendham, the four by four winners. And Olive is pulled back close. This is the leg they're they know. actually in the lead now. This is the leg that Olive knows they have got to have a good lead at the end. And Olive in front. Morris Hills in second. Cortez. That's Off they go. Yeah, that's Cortez. Cortez is looking to haul his man in. Here we go. Mount Olive in the lead. Morris Hills now in the lead. Can you imagine if Cortez has a kick after this? No. A little bit of a slowdown. And now Cortez out of the turn. Both with kick, kicks there. Morris Hills leads, Mount Olive second. A little bit of a lengthening there at the end. Handoff. Final lap. And who do you think it is, Sean? I think this may be Cortez, hang on. I can't, it's, it's hard for me to tell. No. It is Cortez. That is Cortez. Thank you. And Cortez is stre just stretching the lead out a little bit. Well, he's he's not about 15 meters. No, he's not pulling away from him far enough. But he, he might have it if he can. Team scores for the girls events. In fifth Coming around. Final run, Cortez on this anchor lap. Cortez now kicking it. Oh yeah. Outside run, Mount Olive. Will they catch? Let's see what happens down the stretch. It's Morris Hills will win it. Just off a county record and a meet record. About 320 they crossed that. Wait, that might be a meet record. Not a county record, but it's a meet record. <laughs> the 321-19 going to be coming down. Wow. I always see it, but it's still wow. Hand timed or not hand timed, they, they busted it. <laughs> it's done. Grayson, Wallace, Cortez, Babe. Not in that order exactly, but it, you can put them in any order you want, in all honesty. Pretty much. You got four of the faster 400 meter runners. Think about it. The, the, the slowest of those four is the 15th fastest in the county. Yeah, that's Grayson. <laughs> That's Grayson. That's the crazy part. And he was like two. Wallace yes. started it. Then it was, I, I'm actually surprised that Babe was the third. But that's, that, that goes to the depth of the, of the squad. You could put either one of them. But Cortez, I, Cortez proved why he needed to be the anchor, though. He, his, yeah. That was the most impressive kick around the outside of the first 200. Right. Um, so that was just in, absolutely incredible stuff. Morris Hill's just, the, the tradition, it, it's got, it's the tradition that continues. Of course, it goes without saying. This, those four guys, I think, I think two or three of them are, are headed off to elsewhere after uh, this season. Uh, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a, interesting to see how they what, what do they do to uh, bring uh, back on the uh, four by four for next year too. Um, it's a scary thought. That, that that team just reloads. It's just like okay. I don't know how you're going to have. I got. I don't know how you're gonna have a relay team like that. That'd be interesting. Four guys like that all together at the same time. Just awaiting the official results yep. of all of it. But boy, oh boy, this was a good one here. Uh, that last one was as advertised. Yep. Remarkably, they got all the events in. Yeah. Those late night things, you know, the, 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 
the air was cooler enough that it you know it didn't oh, it definitely helped. it didn't spin That's it true. it didn't spin it up it didn't spin up the uh, the high pressure low pressure situation I'm not a weather person but from what I know is if it's already fairly not humid you're not gonna usually stir up another storm it'll probably dissipate elsewhere that's from what I know from knowing some people that have became meteorologists. checking times or are we checking other things? I don't know what we're checking. I think they, just, they might want to just make sure that he got the uh, record. Yeah, I want to make sure he got the, they got it too. Mm. You see Yeah, we got to have that we got to find that one out first. As we continue to wait those final results. found our spot. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, whatever. 20 minute drive. Yeah, I can. It's all good. Actually, wait a second. Hold that thought. <laughs> oh, it's close right now. Yeah, here he is. Results for the boys. Four, high, four by 400 relay. In sixth place, Chatham High School. Three minutes. The meet record is what we're looking at. In fifth yes. Place, the time to beat 3 minutes 28 3 21 19 Fourth place Randolph High School 3 minutes 27.27 seconds In third place Westmore Central 3 minutes 26.14 seconds Good run by Westmore That's good place not all of high school 3 minutes 21.34 <laughs> and in first place, they broke the record. Morris Hills High School with a time of three minutes, point, three minutes, 20, like 20 point zero two seconds. The team of Joshua Bay, Dominic Wallace, Liam Grayson, and Juan Cortez. Congratulations. Please oh. pick up your medals before you leave. They almost said it. I think it was 321.23 or something no, like no, that. No, 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 no. 320.03. Oh. No, 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 no. The second place for uh, what we were saying for Mount, Mount Olive beat the record, too. Mount Olive beat, beat, beat the, the hand time record, too. 321. They beat the, they were 321.3. They beat the hand time record, too. Well, the hand time, but not the, the meet record was 321.19. It's gone 320.03 for... In second place. Well, let's listen Mount to this. High School, 64.33 points. And in first place, Del Barton School with 74 points. Congratulations. There you go. Del Barton wins overall. Thank but you for your participation in the As that now North concludes it, we saw a meet record at the end go down, 320.03. Uh, Sean, let's wrap this one up. We're wrapping it up. <laughs> Morris Hills. Unbelievable. What else can you say? They always love to take home that final prize. They are the ones that love to perform when the lights turn on. We want to thank our sponsors, Harding Hawks Field Hockey Club. Call them at 908-730-7108 or email Bennett Kia, uh, B-E-N-N-E-T-T-K-E-A -T -T -E at AOL.com. Lexus, an automotive company that takes inspired design, relentless innovation, and performance and turns it into passionate moving experience. Visit a dealer near you and test drive a Lexus today. 1776 Top Golf Suite. Visit them online. Get on their mailing list. 1776Marstown.com. A Chef David Burke restaurant. George J. Keller and Sons. Installing roofs and instilling trust since 1980. Visit them online at gjkeller.com. First and goal sports. Uh, with youth football academies and camps going on all summer, check them out online, firstandgoldsportscamps.com. Well, we got through the two days. Um, 
We have, a, we have a tied record and a broken record. All was well. At the end of the night, Marius Hills finishes off by breaking a record. Uh, and George Muha was right. If he's listening in, they did break it at 4.20.03 for the Mars Hills 4x4 relay team. For Corey Delmato and my broadcast partner, Sean Bretherick, who's also doing the producing, my name is Brett Luthner. Thanks for watching this presentation of a New Jersey high school track on Mars Sussex Sports. Until next time, have a good night from Putin. <laughs>